What's good, YouTube? It's your boy 2K the God, my man Sus. Welcome to the Guys of Boxing Talk. Now I want to introduce my special guest. He's on the show for the first time. He's a guy that I get a lot of my information from. One of my one of my favorite sources, my man Twine. Twine, where you from, boss? Uh, San Diego originally, out here in Denver, Colorado, man, Mile High City. All right, he out there getting bl getting blunted. Nah, I'm just fucking yeah. with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you. We don't do drugs on this show. Oh. All right, so my man Twine from Denver, we're going to get it in. For this segment, it's going to be Vasil Lomachenko, man. You know, there's a lot of shit going around about Vasil Lomachenko ever since he was in negotiations with Riga. You know what I'm saying? We got... This happened, that happened. Motherfuckers asking for too much money. Motherfuckers asking for more money. I won't go into details just yet because I want my panel to kill this shit. So I'm gonna go to Twine first, man. What's the news on 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 Lomachenko, man? What are we hearing right now? All right, um, pretty much with Lomachenko, we got a couple things brewing. Uh, with the delay with the Walters talks. Yep. Um, they're talking about moving on to another opponent for June 11th. Yep. Uh, with the Felix Verdejo card in New York, uh, they're looking at Roman Rocky Martinez, mm -hmm. which um, I'm saying I'll let y'all get into that a little bit more. But um, that's pretty much what it's looking like if Walters doesn't sign. Uh, the situation with Walters is he was offered 500k. Mm. You know, 500. is his career, it's a career high purse. You know what I'm saying for him. Yeah. Damn. 500K. But at the same time, Ooh. gotta wonder what Loma's making. You know, this is the agenda I think Walters is pushing more than anything. Right. HBO is putting up a meal ticket. Right, right. And See, you know damn well it's not a 50-50 or else Walters would have signed already. No, nah, it's definitely not 50-50. This, this is the problem I got. Me and Seth went back and forth a little bit earlier. You know what I'm saying? So, boxing, especially at the negotiation table, if you don't have a legacy behind you, you know what I'm saying? If you're not Floyd Mayweather, you're not, you know, Andre Ward based on what he's done in the Super 6, you're not these other fighters. Or if you don't have major popularity behind you, the really the only negotiation leverage you have is what you did in your last fight or in your last, your most recent fights, right? See, Lomachenko is the champion at 126, right? <clears throat> he's also moving up to 130, right? He also has won like his last three or four fights. Can't remember, don't don't quote me YouTube, but he's won his last few fights. Walters had a draw with a C-level fighter in his last fight. Now, while I don't agree with the purse being 500K for Nicholas Walters, and then Lomachenko is making so much that he is willing to offer Walters 300K <laughs> if he wins. Think about that, people. That means this motherfucker's <laughs> making well over a million. Yeah. Right? Yeah. For a guy with shit, how many fights? I think he has under 10 fights. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, a guy that he <clears> fought, <throat> Gary Russell Jr., that's the biggest name on his resume, and really the only name on his resume, because he lost to Orlando Salido. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Nicholas Walters probably has a better resume because he beat Nonito Donaire and Victor yeah, Archie. Yeah. Exactly. So, while I do believe. Lomachenko should get a little bit more money just because he's moving up in weight. He's a champion. He has more to offer at the table, right? Then Nicholas Walters giving us a draw with Jason Sosa in his last fight, right? It still should not be a situation. This sounds like 70-30. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And this is the kicker, people. Remember all the bullshit that went down with Guillermo Rigondeaux, right? Well, it comes out. All of this is credit to DBN. Right, it comes out that he offered Rigo, a guy that is a two-time world champion, right? Uh, yeah, five, a two-time world champion. All right, he's also undefeated. He defeated the 2012 Fighter of the Year with only 12 fights on his resume. I think that was his 12th fight. Right, much more accolades than a Vasil Lomachenko, but he offered him the same amount, 500k. Speak on it, sus. <sighs> I well, I agree with everything you said, 100%. But I want to go a little bit. Let me dive a little deeper in this thing real quick, man. You know, um, here's my thing. When you talk about a fight between two premier fighters, it boils down to 
that single word, negotiation. Right. Okay. If I offer you an amount and you automatically take it, we're not really negotiating. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm basically telling you what it is. You accepting it, and that's it. You know, and the fact that they offered two elite fighters the same amount, to me, it seems like they're trying to lowball these guys and just see who's dumb enough to take it. Yes. You know what I mean? Yep. They're saying, hey, we'll, we'll give you 500 k to fight uh, Vasily Lomachenko. And these guys who are elite level fighters are like, whoa, 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 hold on, you know, let's negotiate this thing. You know what I mean? You're not just gonna come up in here with no low ball ass wager and then expect me to take it. And then when I don't take it, there's no fight. Right. If you really want to make the fight, you really dead, you really steadfast at fighting me, you're gonna come to the table, offer me something. When I say no, let me get a little bit more. That's when we start negotiating. That's when the numbers start, you know, creeping up after that. Right. And that's my problem with Lomachenko's side. They're just giving these guys a base amount and they're not willing to go over that. Right. But Basil Lomachenko was making so much that he can offer Nicholas Walters, who has more fights than he does, who has uh, two, you know, I'll say one more name on his record than Basil Lomachenko. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're moving up to his weight division. He's not a champion, and uh, oh, okay, he did draw with the last guy, but the last guy you fought was a fucking bum. He was okay. a nobody, okay. you know? So so, so when they start talking about leverage and who's the A side and who's the B side, to me, that thing starts to kind of even out, you know, because Vasil Lomachenko does not have the record, and he has a loss on his record at right. that, right. you know, to Orlando Salido. So you're expecting to come to a guy's weight division a division where he's been dominant, he's been knocking guys out, he has two very good names on his record, and you're expecting for him just to take whatever you're trying to give him? Right. Absolutely not. Now, I don't know what Walters wants, but I'm telling you this, if you offer, if I was Nicholas Walters and a motherfucker offered me $500,000, absolutely not, absolutely and, not. And then behind that, he offered more than half of his purse back to him from his own purse, exactly. yeah, just in case exactly. he fucking wins. And, you know, so, so, so. Walters is asking for a meal ticket, so you know Vasil is getting that. Exactly. Oh, yeah, Vasil yeah, exactly. That. I mean, that's he, what Walters is demanding. He getting at least, at least that and more. Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's with the Walters. He has a whole lot more to lose here. Look at how Rigo got down when he whooped Donair's ass. Right. So yeah. he, he was blackballed, basically, by top rank after that. And HBO. Yeah. So, you know... Uh, I think that's when the HBO's hang up with putting too much investment with Loma right now because of the Salido loss and then if this happens with Walters yeah. okay that's two right there mm -hmm. you know and then Bob don't know, don't really know how to push Walters at that at the same time you know like he don't yeah. know how to market to, to Walters right. you know well, he's always had a problem with black fighters and marketing them and Walters is from the Caribbean yes, so yeah. it's a whole different element you oh, know yeah. um yeah. He might want to hire me if he want to know how to go about that though. But um, <laughs> but yeah. anyways, but yeah. he's all he's asking for a meal, so you know Loma is getting an, at least that, if not more. Right. And I know it's more if he's offering him, like you said, three hundred k out of his purse. If right. you absolutely, absolutely, man. And but you know here, six hundred k and seven hundred and fifty k for fighting bums. His last two fights on pay per view. Exactly, exactly. So so how the fuck are you gonna offer? A guy that's at the elite level in his weight division, five hundred thousand yeah. dollars. You know, I mean, that's 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 kind of bullshit. And it, you know, it's causing me because I'm not mad at Nicholas Walters for asking for more money. I mean, to me, like I said, five hundred thousand. Come on, man. Uh, that that's that's, that's now for, for me, that's a lot of money, but not for a guy that's putting in work and that's undefeated. And well, yeah. what it's making me do, I'm sorry, two K, no, real quick. What it's making me do is it's making me look at Lomo's team. And it's making me say, okay, do these guys really, truly, truly, truly 100% want to fight? Mm -hmm. Because if they're offering something and then when that offer gets rejected, they take it off the table. I, 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 I don't know if you're just doing this shit for brownie points or not. Are you just doing this shit to say, well, I tried to fight uh, Rigo, but he didn't want to fight me. 
Well, check I'm, this out. Yeah, give, go ahead. Give me the example you said about Floyd Mayweather offering Manny Pacquiao that forty million. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, damn. Hey, thanks, two K. Look, <laughs> check this out. And you guys can go and check. I, 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 I wish I had the interview so we can put it in the uh, uh, link description. But look, when Floyd Mayweather, when Floyd Mayweather was gonna fight Manny Pacquiao. He offered him $40 million. He called him and he offered him $40 million. He said out of his own mouth, Floyd said, look, I'm supposed to lowball you, okay? When I make that offer, I'm supposed to lowball low, low ball you because if you're gonna take it, fuck it. You know, if, 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 if I'm gonna reap all the benefits, you dumb enough to take that, fuck it, let's do it. But what I don't expect you to do is get on, well, what I expect you to do is get on the phone and negotiate exactly you know what i mean you don't hang the phone up and say you know no fight and laugh and hang. you don't do that you negotiate when you're serious about fighting a guy yeah. you know what i mean i mean that that's how business works nobody approaches a business deal trying to give you the amount that they think your your talent or whatever you're selling is worth yeah. they're <laughs> always going to lower that amount just so they can see what you're going to take at first go ahead twan yeah, it's pretty much like you say. It's the art of the deal, man. Um, <laughs> counter offers, you know. It's exactly. Negotiations. Um, that's how this thing works. And it started to become like something that's... I mean, I'm just looking at things deeper with Loma right now because of how they're pushing them. It's kind of from like a protectionism angle. You know, the way people tried to say Floyd was, was when he was fighting. Right. Checked it, yeah. you know. Um, Walters was offered uh, Uchiyama, the oh. baddest dude at 130. Yeah, yeah. That's who he's supposed to be fighting before Loma. You know, that was technically mm. supposed to be his fight coming up. Yep. yep. Now, I'm guessing because of scheduling or whatever, you know, you got uh, Salido with a fight coming up against Vargas to, unif uh, to get a title. Um, then you got Uchiyama, he's got a fight coming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Loma's now given probably. Uh, what would you call the easy guy? You know what I'm saying? The low man on the totem pole at 130 in Rocky. Yeah, you know, he, he, that, he, he arguably protection. lost he arguably lost Orlando Salido last year. You know what I'm saying? He already got beat by Mikey Garcia. I mean this is I mean it's 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 not a step up in my opinion because I think Gary Russell Jr. is better than him. Obviously Orlando Salido is better than him. He's fought guys better than him. Yeah. But it's still to me, it's still a competitive fight. It, it could be a fight that could, if he's not on his P's and Q's, he could fuck around and lose. This is like a gift, a gift belt to me, though, you know, uh, fighting Roman. And you got to think, they say nobody wants to fight about 126. Right. There's options out there, you know, but what's, what's really stopping those? You know, that that's the other politics involved in it. He could fight somebody at 126 if he really wanted it. Yeah. You know, it, people ain't ducking him. You yeah. know, but that's the impression that top rank wants to give about him. Uh, you yeah. know, the same way K2 is doing with Triple G. There's options. You know, there's people that want to get at you, dog. But uh, hmm. I'm saying the politics is playing into it, you know. Yep. Yeah. So, Twan, man, let us know uh, some information you got on a statement that was in Spanish by uh, Nicholas Walters. Uh, well, basically, I put it out there. He said he's taking a risk. You know, uh, why shouldn't he get rewarded for what he, you know, fight, fight somebody like Lomachenko? Okay. No, he wants to be rewarded. You know, yeah. that's pretty much what it is with him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I, I agree. In a nutshell, people, what we're trying to say, based on, um, you know, um, Sessa's uh, statement about, uh, you know, Floyd Mayweather and the $40 million offer Pacquiao, it's okay to lowball a motherfucker, right? But you have to have the idea in mind, or at least be open to the fact that that opponent that you're trying to lowball initially, he's going to come back with his own offer, and that's when negotiations start. Right. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it seems to me, if he's offering Nicholas Walters, a guy that doesn't have the same accolades as Guillermo Rigondeaux, the same amount of fucking money both times, it seems to me that that is his starting point in negotiations. And then both times, both fighters have given in to certain demands from Lomachenko, but he seems to always move away from getting the fight done. Yeah. That's why it looks suspicious. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, you two, we're going to conclude it right here. Do what you do in the comment section. Let us know what you think. Is Lomachenko trying to lowball these fighters? This is the Gods of Boxing Talk. One.